everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Caitlin if you're new here and I'm going to show you everything that I eat in a day as a vegan. So I did start my day um, with some water. I'm still drinking this. I also had a glass of cold brew coffee um, on ice but I was feeling a little tired so I didn't film it but I did have that. And then I did a little circuit training workout. You can tell like my face is still red. Maybe it's because I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I don't know. But the focus of this video is on food, not my sweat. So we're going to move on to breakfast now. I meal prepped some of my peanut butter and jelly overnight oats. So I already have those assembled. I just have to add a few toppings and stuff. So I'll take you to the kitchen and we'll go from there. So these are the overnight oats. I just put peanut butter in them. I didn't swirl them with the jam yet. As you can see, they're really thick and creamy and lush. And actually I did add a little bit of protein powder to these two because uh, I know I was going to be doing a harder workout, but the full recipe is on my blog. I will link it in the description below. So we got this and then I don't have any chia seed jam today. So I'm actually going to be using this organic super fruit blend fruit spread that I got from Thrive Market. But I'll show you guys. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but the jam is a little thick. I mean, it's like traditional jam and I want to be able to swirl it into my oats. So over here, I just mixed it with like the tiniest bit of water. Um, so I'm just gonna add that now into the bowl. And then swirl it around. And then last but not least, I just have some fresh blueberries in my fridge. Um, so I'm going to add them to the bowl as well. I'll give them a little bit more of a mix too. And then we have our finished product. Very easy, took what, maybe a minute to assemble in the morning. So it's great for meal prep, busy mornings, or you know, just if you don't feel like making breakfast, but you have time the night before to prep something. So now we can do a little taste test. Honestly, I think it tastes very similar to PB&J because the oats add that like carbiness, nuttiness that you'd normally get from using bread. Um, it's quick, it's easy, it's pretty customizable too. You could add cinnamon, cacao nibs, nuts or seeds make it work for you. I also like to swirl the jam in because then you get little bites of jammy goodness instead of having it be like less strong of a flavor um, and being throughout the whole entire bowl. So before we get into the video any further, as you saw in the beginning of this video, it's probably sponsored by Thrive Market. I work with Thrive on a regular basis, so you guys probably know by now that it's my favorite online retailer for vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, fair trade, organic, etc. goods. It's quick and easy. They have all of my favorite products and they're oftentimes at reduced prices than I would get at the store. Plus I can shop in my pajamas and just get it delivered straight to my door. So today in this video, I'm going to be showcasing different condiments uh, from Thrive Market that I personally enjoy and use and they just help make cooking a little bit easier and fuss free when you don't have time to, you know, make something from scratch. So if you like condiments or just good food in, in general and you live in the US, you can click the link below to check out Thrive Market and get up to $20 in shopping credit, which is pretty freaking awesome. So my link is below. Check it out if you want. I'm going to eat this, do some work things, put some adult clothes on. I mean, adults can wear sweatpants too, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but the next time I'll check in with you guys is when I am making my lunch. Currently working on lunch, we're going to be having a big salad with crispy buffalo chickpeas and vegan ranch dressing. I am very excited, but I'm also very hungry and feeling a little impatient. So in the meantime, I'm going to have this apple as a snack. And I'm just about to pop my chickpeas in the air fryer, so I'll show you how I'm making them taste crispy and buffalo-y and cheesy and delicious. So I went ahead and cooked some dry beans um, in my Instant Pot. So these are freshly cooked chickpeas. There's about three cups here. I don't think we'll use all of them, but it's gonna be good, so it's okay if we have extras. And then now I'm going to drizzle this hot buffalo sauce on top of the chickpeas. Uh, I'm not necessarily gonna measure. This stuff is pretty spicy. I'll probably do like, it's between a fourth, maybe like half a cup between a fourth and half of a cup. Probably should have gotten a bigger bowl, but I'm just going to mix this until all the chickpeas are coated. You could use more or less sauce depending on how saucy and or spicy you want things to be. So our chickpeas are mixed and now I'm going to add a cheesy factor by adding some nutritional yeast, informally called nooch, uh, to the chickpeas as well. This is going to help absorb some of the sauce 
and it'll help dry them out more so the outside edges will crisp up more in the oven. And it just has a nice cheesy flavor. It actually is a pretty good source of plant-based protein as well, fun fact. So we're just gonna mix these in. I don't know why I said oven, because I'm crisping these up in the air fryer. Nutritional yeast is also a great source of umami flavor, so it's just gonna make these taste better overall. So I've got my chickpeas, and now I'm going to put them in the basket of my air fryer, um, which as you can see, I lined with some parchment paper. And they're not gonna be too spread out. If you want truly crispy chickpeas, like for croutons, you definitely want them to be more spread out than this. I'm just looking for the outside edges to get a little crisp. I still want them to be somewhat soft because there's gonna be a lot of other crunchy elements in my salad. So I'm just spreading them out now and I'm going to bake them in my air fryer probably for like 20 to 25 minutes. And I'm just gonna to toss them around probably over five or so minutes um, to make sure they cook a little bit more evenly. So now I'm going to work on my ranch dressing. I have a dressing recipe in my blog, but I'm taking a cheat today and I'm going to be using this garden ranch seasoning mix that I got on Thrive Market. The ingredients for this are vegan. It says to mix it with sour cream, um, but instead of doing that, I'm just going to mix it with some non-dairy almond yogurt. I got it from the store. Ideally I would use coconut yogurt, but they didn't have any. And I'm just mixing it in the same bowl that I mixed the chickpeas in. So I feel like the leftover buffalo sauce will just add extra flavor. I'm gonna start by adding about half of the packet of seasoning mix because I have about half of the amount of yogurt um, that it calls for. You just gotta mix it up. Looks nice and herby. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. I was worried the yogurt wasn't gonna work, but that actually tastes really similar to ranch. And I don't think I need to add anything. This is more of a dip than a dressing, so it's on the thicker side, but I think it'll be okay for this salad. That stuff is good. This would be good with carrots. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Sorry about my barking dog in the background though. So for our salad, I have a bunch of this red, I think it's like bib lettuce. Uh, we had it in our garden, so I just picked a bunch of it, washed it, and then ripped it up with my hands. And then we're obviously gonna be adding some veggies in. And I sort of went with the buffalo um, theme of like veggies you would normally get if you got wings or something. So we have some celery, some shredded carrot, and I think cucumbers also always add a nice crunch and like a cooling aspect to it. So I'm going to toss this in my ranch dressing, which is right there. And then I'm going to add in the veggies and that'll be done for our salad and we'll just top it with chickpeas. So the chickpeas came out pretty good. As you can see, they're not crispy, like fried crispy. Um, but they're still like a baked, steamy, they're still a baked coating um, around the edges, which is what I was going for. I didn't want anything overly crunchy. Uh, as you can also see, they're very steamy, so I'm just gonna let them cool off um, a little bit before I add them to the salad, which I went ahead and divided into bowls for Dylan and myself. All right, I got my chickpea salad, and I just wanna take a moment to show you guys my sourdough. Um, I think this is the third loaf that I've made and I'm slowly getting better every time. So just like everyone in quarantine, I decided to make sourdough. No, it's not gluten-free and it tastes really freaking delicious. So this is my lunch. I'm going to dig in. So for dinner, I'm going to make us some Vietnamese rice paper rolls or like spring roll inspired bowls. Um, we love spring rolls, but there are a lot of effort and I make them faster than Dylan and by the time Dylan it's made like one. I feel like I've eaten all of mine. What? You know that's true. I eat anyway, more though. Yeah, you eat more, so then I'm just sitting there like, and then I just end up making all his rolls for him. That happens to all of it though. Okay, fair point. So instead of using the rice paper rolls, we're just going to be using these pad thai white rice noodles uh, that I got on Thrive Market. It's definitely like a fusion dish. So we're going to have some cooked veggies here. I have some red bell pepper, carrot, and shiitake mushrooms just for a little bit more umami. And then I'm gonna keep some of my veggies raw, so I'm gonna chop up some cabbage, definitely not traditional, but it adds a nice crunch and color. We have some cucumber, and then for our herbs, we have some cilantro, some mint that I picked from the garden. And then we have our first batch of snap peas, which I'm excited about, so we're gonna chop those up and put them on our dish. This is a great, relatively easy way to eat a colorful meal that is also packed with a lot of veggies. So we're also going to serve it with some chili tofu. I got this sweet chili sauce um, from Thrive Market. It's by the brand Ye's Thai. And it's cool, it's actually sweetened with only fruit juice. So I'm gonna coat the tofu in this. I tasted it and it has good flavor. Um, I just want a little bit more depth of flavor. I also wanna thicken it up a little bit. 
So I'm going to mix it with some miso paste and hoisin sauce, and then I'm just gonna cook my tofu in the air fryer. And then I'm also going to make my peanut sauce recipe from the blog using this peanut butter and tamari where, that I also got from Thrive Market. And we're gonna make that our creamy sauce to sort of unite all these toppings together. So let's get started. So I whisked the chili sauce with miso paste. I kind of eyeballed it. You can just go on personal taste preference. I also cut my tofu into triangles. Again, you can do whatever shape you want and just gently press it on a dish towel um, to get some of the liquid out. So now what I'm gonna do is just put these tofu pieces into the sauce. Let it sit for a few seconds then flip it over so it's nice and coated. And then up here I have my air fryer lined with parchment paper and I'm just going to transfer this on to the air fryer basket and repeat with the rest of the pieces. So my tofu's all snug in my air fryer basket and I have a little extra marinade. So I'm just going to take a, a brush, like a silicone brush and put a little extra sauce on. And I'm still gonna have some leftover, so I'm going to cook this and then I think once it's about halfway through cooking, I'll brush it again just so we get all of that flavor on to the tofu and it gets nice and caramelized. I'll probably cook this for around 20 minutes at 380 or so, um, but I'm gonna go by the doneness of the sauce on the tofu. So while the tofu is cooking away, I'm going to cook these vegetables just with some water, um, basically to gently steam them. I'm also gonna add a splash of tamari because uh, that works really well with these mushrooms. I'm gonna cook my rice noodles and I'm going to make my peanut sauce. So I'll show you what everything looks like once it's been prepped and ready to go. Our peanut sauce has been made. Rice noodles are cooked. I toss them with the cooked veggies and now I'm gonna toss them in the peanut sauce before I top it with our cucumber snap peas herbs and our tofu let me make it brighter which came out looking real good i'm excited for this this is my finished bowl we got dylan's finished bowl you can't see all the stuff that's in it but i think we can all agree that the tofu looks nice and amazing and glistening and yep we're gonna dig into these and we're also going to watch just mercy on our tv woohoo okay bye Oh, you want me to get you? Huh? Sure. This is gonna be delicious. <laughs> we finished dinner and we're having dessert. We're gonna have a combination of all of these things. So we got our peanut butter, chocolate, bananas, and some dates. So we finished the movie. And if you guys haven't seen Just Mercy yet, I would really, really recommend it. Dylan and I both thought it was a really good movie. The acting is incredible and it's just, really important message to listen to as well. I think it's free to watch on a few streaming services right now, um, but even if it's not free, it's worth it to rent or buy. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I'm pretty tired. We're gonna do the dishes and go to bed. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out Thrive Market if you haven't already to get all of your favorite pantry staples and and that's it for me. I hope you guys are well and taking care of yourselves and hope you're having an awesome day. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.